So this is the scene that has caught my eye, and uh, it is, again, incredibly complicated, and I should know better. What I, what's caught my eye is the warm tree trunks, the cool snow, the cool shadows, the ice uh, with warm and cool reflections on it. I'm doing a study which shows the colors I see in the water and in the background trees. I can hear a little bit of ice melting behind me, a little clinks and tinkles as it as the ice falls into the brook. Here's how it's going along. And uh, this is was my rough study. And through the screen it looks okay. I can't really back up to see how it looks because I'd be in the water. But that's okay. Here it is. Here's the view in the other direction, what I wasn't painting. It's been really nice and mild. It's starting to cool off now. There's shadows on the stream now. And it'll be time to head in soon, I think. I had to put foot warmers under my paint in my palette to keep it from freezing. I started to get ice crystals right here in my palette. And I'd brought some chemical foot warmers and I stuck them to the underside of my paint wells and that helped quite a bit. The ice crystals are gone. So this is again my rough draft. This was my study before I did a colored version and I ended up just continuing on with this because that it's accomplished what I wanted which was just to give me a sense of what it's like to be out here. I think what I'll do now is I'll pack up and I'll take my camera upstream and see, take some pictures for other occasions, and uh, then I'll go home. Kids will be home on the bus soon, and it's Friday afternoon, so I'd like to be home when they get there. So that's all for now. Thanks for tuning in, and have a great day wherever you are.